set me free. You broke every chain. You broke every chain. Especially your name, Jesus Christ.
my living hope. Jesus Christ, who set you and me free. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise, Lord. We give you praise. In the name of Jesus. We've been dealing with the book of um, Second Samuel. Earlier. Talking about the life of David and how the Lord set him free. And the same freedom we proclaim to our life in the name of Jesus, every area of our lives. Joseph stood as a distant enemy. It's not a blood relative, it's a wicked enemy. Then Adi Solom, who was one of the sons of David, decided to destroy his father. Even formed even form a strong army to attack his father. But because of his father, the Lord, by the grace of God, you know, he, had, he, had, he is very, very conscious and very, very spiritual. David was very, very conscious, very, very spiritual human being. Hallelujah. Because David loved, 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 loved the truth and loved justice. And because of that, the Spirit of God was alive in him. And when Absalom wanted to carry out that wicked attack, launch that attack on David, by the mercy of God, the Lord allowed David, and David just called his 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 his, his, his body bearers, man, let's live here, or else we are dead, or else we are dead. How did he know? The next thing Absalom was going to do. You know what the benefit when you decide to stick to the truth and justice? It has tremendous benefits. It makes your spiritual antennas alive. Hallelujah. So you'll be able to design your spirit man is alive and he's designing the, the things that are happening around you. And, and the law will always alert you. For example, when you, the, 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 the Ahitophel, who's supposed to be more spiritual than David, allow, allow trivial things to deceive him. He was deceived. He was deceived. And again, you can see when he was stand in the path of the path of truth and in the path of justice. The law will always make us to do some things that you don't even know what you're doing. How did David know that that is the, the best prayer for him to pray at that time? When David prayed this prayer, for that long, let every concept of Ahitophel become foolish. From that very prayer, if you look very well in the life of Ahitophel, every of his cancer was now foolish, foolish cancer. Foolish cancer. Foolish cancel because for any kingdom to stand, for anybody at all, like a, a leader, a, a kingdom to stand, the community had to trust you to be someone who, who, who can stand for justice, who have justice in his hand, and, and who is truthful. Because how can the community give their life to you or hand over their their life? To manage when you are not standing the part of truth, when you are not standing the part of justice, gathering your father's concubines and sleeping with them in the open where everybody can see you. That means you are you are useless king and you want to rule. When the kind of cancer that someone who's supposed to be wise gave to Absalom because of what the prayer that David prayed. Let all his cancer become foolish. It doesn't know that the spirit of foolishness has been released upon him. I do, the spirit of foolishness was controlling him. And I pray in the name of Jesus, anyone that is standing as, as a hit of fear in your life, in the name of the life of your children, in your life, in your family, anyone standing like a hit of fear, we declare and declare in the name of Jesus from now, in the name of Jesus. Let everyone their counsel, let everyone their advice become foolish. In the name of Jesus, and that foolish advice in the name of Jesus will swallow them. 
they beat their dick, they will fall into it. They refuse to repent in the name of Jesus. But let your mercy, O Lord, deliver us, O Lord, as you deliver David. Let your mercy deliver us, O Lord, Joseph, from every gathering of wickedness against our spiritual body, against our health, against our family, against our children, in the name of Jesus, against the work of our hands. Arise, Lord Jesus, and fight for your children. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. And the Father will declare this meeting open. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And we ask, Lord, just every door that you have opened to the enemy, every sin that you have committed, not, not consciously or unconsciously. Father, Lord, by your mercy, Lord, have mercy on us. In the name of Jesus. Move to that, to Lord Jesus. And your name alone will be glorified for what you've done. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Brothers and sisters, you welcome again tonight in the name of Jesus. And there are some few prayers I want us to just pray. Especially that country called Nigeria is, you know, is a place where we are coming from. I suppose not to be coming from there. But I don't know why God said I should come from that country. But we well, thank God. Hallelujah. You know, there are quite a lot of um, atrocities that is happening there right now. And I pray that the Lord, the mercy of God will be upon that country. Because the, what the enemy is trying to do is trying to drink blood. They want blood to flow. A few years ago, a lot of people saw blood flowing like a river in that country. And this is that time that that dream is supposed to be reality. But the people have been praying and praying and praying and praying. And praying. The government they said guidelines for election. They said guidelines and rules to govern the election. And they now, you know, you know, set up election and the election was done. And all the guidelines for a presidency, for someone who's supposed to be a representative, the person they are putting there as the president, you don't meet any of them. They took them to court. And the court accepted the, the case. And now they 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 are supposed to meet a few days a few days ago, and, and unfortunately the people who are contesting for the in this thing went to the court. The government refused to to appear to the court. They said they are having a special meeting. The next thing we saw, they were handing over the document of the country to the person who is a fake, you know, president. Because everything they say that you no, know, the thing that qualifies someone to be a president, they call, according to the constitution, is totally wrong. The, the, the guy did not meet up. We from that very time that they, after the election, they've been battling with these things, and they still refuse because they don't want a certain set of the of the country to, to ever appear as president, which they've been, which and uh, one of the activists. That they arrested and put in the hospital, I mean, put in the prison for, for over two, um, roughly two years now. The guy had been arrested. The guy, the guy, by the grace of God, the guy, the Lord revealed, God revealed everything that is happening now, including the name of the, this very person now who says the president, the new, the new person now. Guy, God revealed to, about two years ago. Everything was revealed to him. Telling the country to be careful that Satan wants to drink blood. But unfortunately, that's exactly how the, the country is going. Hallelujah. But even though God has revealed, He revealed to redeem. God reveals to redeem. And since we are aware of what Satan is trying to do, please, my brothers and sisters, all over the world, please let, join me in the name of Jesus. Because remember what happened in the China a few years ago affected the whole world. The one that is happening in Ukraine now is affecting the whole world too. All the prices increase. It's something. Then if a major disaster and trouble like that start happening in Nigeria too, it will still affect the whole world. Remember, the one of the, the major uh, oil producers in the world. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord, let me to pray this hour for the peace of that nation. That the Lord to take control in the name of John. Let his perfect will, let his perfect will in the name of John be done. 
please let's just pray in the name of Jesus because we don't want to walk we don't want them flying jet and all those um, war and all because that's just what is what what is what is knocking on the door in the name of Jesus please let us just begin to pray and ask the Lord please Lord have mercy have mercy have mercy over that country have mercy on the needy have mercy on the poor have mercy on the orphans in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Father, ask for your mercy, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord, just over the country called Nigeria. In the name of Jesus, have mercy. Have mercy, Lord Jesus. Have mercy, Lord Jesus. Stop the wickedness of the wicked, Lord. Stop the injustice, Lord. Stop the lies, Lord Jesus, and the, the wickedness that is happening in that very country, Lord. In the name of Jesus, arise in your power. Arise, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, my son, in every drum of war, every drum of war, every drum of, 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 of disaster in over that country, for our will stop. We put off all the drums of war in the name of Jesus. Messenger Master, if I give the leaders, Lord, wisdom, knowing understanding to, to end this whole trouble in, in a me amicable way in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, my peace, Lord, we pray. Peace, we pray. Peace, we pray. Peace, we pray for our country. Let your perfect will be done, O Lord. Let injustice prevail. Let justice prevail, Lord Jesus. Let righteousness be bred. Let truth prevail. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, help those those who are the leaders that the policies and the and the rules they have uh, they have fixed. In the name of Jesus, to obey, to honor their own rules that they have set, the constitution, guiding election. In the name of Jesus, please Lord, peace Lord Jesus. Peace Lord, we pray. Peace Lord Jesus over Nigeria. Peace 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 over West Africa. Peace, O Lord. Peace, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I will pray for other countries of the world who will be going through similar things. We pray for peace, O Lord Jesus. Peace, O Lord. Peace, O Lord Jesus. Let your perfect will, O Lord, be done. In the name of Jesus. Let peace, let truth prevail. Let justice prevail. Let truth reign. Let justice reign. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you demon that have possessed those that have possessed in order to use the situation to bring to bring chaos in those countries. The blood of Jesus against you. In the name of Jesus, peace of Lord we pray. Peace of Lord we pray. In the name of Jesus, let the heart of the leaders, O Lord Jesus. For Lord, we pray, Lord Jesus. Men in the mass, son, in the world, rock here. In the mass, here. Son, my, we pray, Lord Jesus, over our leaders, O Lord. Both in Nigeria and other countries, O Lord. Son, mind, son, mind, son, son, mind. The mind that, 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 that loves truth. The mind that loves justice. The mind that loves truth. The mind that loves justice, we pray. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Because you know you have answered us. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Praise the one who set us free. Death has lost his, his grip over our land. Death has lost his grip over our families. Death has lost his grip over our nations. Death has lost his grip in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus over our lives. In the name of Jesus. Blessed be your holy name, O Lord, just tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise, Jesus. We give you praise. We give you praise, Jesus. We give you praise. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Tonight we're going to go straight over to the Word of God we have tonight. And I pray as we read this Word, let the light of God in His Word, in the name of Jesus, expel every darkness in our lives, in the name of Jesus. Psalm chapter 89 from verse 1 to end. Psalm 89 from verse 1 to end. Psalm 89. From verse 1 to end.
You have broken every reservation in your name. Speak to us, O Lord Jesus. Let your word bring healing. Let your word bring deliverance. Let your word open our eyes. Let your word begin to lead us in the right path to follow. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. From verse 1 to end. Psalm 89. Psalm 89. A mascal of Ethan the Ezraite. I will sing of the steadfast love of the Lord forever. With my mouth I will make known your faithfulness to all generations. Hallelujah. For I said, steadfast love will be built up forever. Mm. In the heavens you will establish your faithfulness. Hallelujah. You have said, I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David my servant. I will establish your offspring forever and build your throne for all generations. Hallelujah. Selah. Let the heavens praise your wonders, O Lord, your faithfulness in the assembly of the holy ones. For who in the skies can be compared to the Lord? Mm. Who among the heavenly beings is like the Lord? Mm -hmm. A God greatly to be feared in the council of the holy ones, mm -hmm. and awesome above all who are around him. O Lord God of hosts, who is mighty as you are, O Lord, with your faithfulness all around you? You rule the raging of the sea. When its waves rise, you still them. Mm -hmm. You crushed Rahab like a carcass. Mm -hmm. You scattered your enemies with your mighty arm. Hallelujah. The heavens are yours. Mm -hmm. The earth also is yours. The world and all that is in it, you have founded them. The north and the south, you have created them. Tabor and Hermon, joyously praise your name. Mm -hmm. You have a mighty arm. Strong is your hand, high your right hand. Mm -hmm. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Mm -hmm. Steadfast love and faithfulness go before you. Mm -hmm. Blessed are the people who know the festal shout, who walk, O Lord, in the light of your face, mm -hmm. who exult in your name all the day, and in your righteousness are exalted. Mm -hmm. For you are the glory of their strength. By your favor our horn is exalted. For our shield belongs mm. to the Lord, mm. our King to the Holy One of Israel. Mm. Of old you spoke in a vision to your godly one and said, I have granted help to one who is mighty. I have exalted one chosen from the people. Mm. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil I have anointed him, mm. so that my hand shall be established with him. Mm. My arm also shall strengthen him. Mm. The enemy shall not outwit him. Amen. The wicked shall not humble him. Amen. I will crush his foes before him Hallelujah. and strike down those who hate him. Hallelujah. My faithfulness and my steadfast love shall be with him. Amen. And in my name shall his horn be exalted. Amen. I will set his hand on the sea and his right hand on the rivers. Hallelujah. He shall cry to me, You are my Father, my God, and the rock of my salvation. Hallelujah. And I will make him the firstborn, the highest of the kings of the earth. My steadfast love I will keep for him forever, Amen. and my covenant will stand firm for him. Amen. I will establish his offspring forever and his throne as the days of the heavens. Hallelujah. If his children forsake my law and do not walk according to my rules, if they violate my statutes and do not keep my commandments, then I will punish their transgression with the rod and their iniquity with stripes. Amen. But I will not remove from him my steadfast love, or be false to my faithfulness. Yes, Lord. I will not violate my covenant or alter the word that went forth from my lips. Once for all, I have sworn by my holiness, I will not lie to David. Mm. His offspring shall endure forever. Amen. His throne as long as the sun before me. Mm. Like the moon, it shall be established forever, mm. a faithful witness in the skies. Mm. Selah. But now you have cast off and rejected. You are full of wrath against your anointed. You have renounced the covenant with your servant. You have mm. defiled his crown in the dust. You have breached all his walls. You have laid his strongholds in ruins. All who pass by plunder him. He has become the scorn of his neighbors. 
You have exalted the right hand of his foes. You have made all his enemies rejoice. You have also turned back the edge of his sword, and you have not made him stand in battle. You have made his splendor to cease and cast his throne to the ground. You have cut short the days of his youth. Mm. You have covered him with shame. Selah. How long, O Lord? Will you hide yourself forever? How long will your wrath burn like fire? Remember how short my time is. For what vanity you have created all the children of man. What man can live and never see death? Who can deliver his soul from the power of Sheol? Selah. Lord, where is your steadfast love of old, which by your faithfulness you swore to David? Remember, O Lord, how your servants are mocked, and how I bear in my heart the insults of all the many nations with which your enemies mock, O Lord, with which they mock the footsteps of your anointed. Blessed be the Lord forever. Amen and Amen. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You see that the, the second, second Samuel chapter, chapter 16 that we read here today, you know, that we started, we started on, to, on, to, on Wednesday. Hallelujah. We'll finish this morning. Hallelujah. You can see David always, you know, always he had this boldness to challenge God regarding to some of the things that are disturbing him, troubling his life. Some issues. Probably he had been waiting for God to do something in his life. And unfortunately, his enemies are a kind of keep up, keep up overpowering him. The most time you, you you always you know allow God in every situation. Just like in this very scripture now, he said, "Lord, where is your steadfast love of old?" Because he can pray this prayer because he knows in his heart he is not willfully or or purposefully you know bearing false witness against his against his neighbor. Or is not, you know, you know, you know, you know, willingly putting his hand, or, 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 or being wicked to anyone, knowing what is wrong, and decide to put his hand there. He had not a kind of, you know, willingly going to become, you know, you know to become a liar, or, or, or not stand for the truth, or not stand for the justice. Then because of his activities of his, this is him, 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 him loving the truth and loving justice. And he can be able to say this kind of prayers. He can be able to say, okay, God, whatever, where are you? I've been, I've been what, the things you say I should do, I've been doing them. I've been loving my, 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 even my enemy. I've been doing this and doing this and doing this. Saul tried to kill me. I saw him. I was supposed to kill Saul, but I did not kill Saul. And other issues that are surrounding me. People say I'm foolish because I did not do according to what the normal person, every other person can do. You say we should love. I'm loving. But God, what is happening? God, is what is happening? What is happening in my life? Hallelujah. Today, are we in, can we both fully in our own situation when we are going through things? We both be bold enough to tell God, to ask God, God, where is your faithfulness? God, you say you are a righteous person. You say you answer prayer. You say I should do this. I've been doing my own. Then why are you not doing what you are doing? I mean, what, what you have promised. Why are you not doing what you have promised? Can we boldly stand? Hallelujah. Because one thing you described here, David had this boldness to challenge God. The challenge God because of what? Holiness and righteousness. When you decide to follow the path of truth and path of justice, there are this boldness that, 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 that spring out from you. You have that boldness to challenge some things in your life. And I would say that the righteous, 
those who stand in the path of justice and truth, they are bold as lion. They are bold as lion. When situation come, they are bold enough to challenge those situation. But when we are not in the path of truth, when we are not in the path of justice, then when those challenges come, you begin to run. Don't know what happened in Nigeria now. When you, you, fix, you fix a program and they are running away, they don't want to come to that program. They call for court. They fix it. It's the government, they the one that fix it. Then they appear to the court that you fix. Now you are running away because you know that your ways are, are, not, are not right. That the ones who appear there because they, are, because they know that they are right. And this is why they are there. If they are not, if they refuse not to go, that means probably there is something they are hiding. That is the reason why David knows both in the secret and in the open. He has been doing the thing the Lord asked us to do. And the prophet that had that had made him to be that bold enough to face Goliath. That made him bold enough to, to face those situations that come to his life against him. Even when the enemy tried to swallow his head, he still stick, standing on the path of truth. And at the end of it all, the Lord always rescue him. And I pray in the name of Jesus, the life of David will be will be a guide hallelujah, to the way we live our lives in the name of Jesus. In the name of that we love the truth, that we love justice, we love the truth and love justice, that we have a compassionate heart in the name of Jesus, even towards our enemy in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And allow God himself to fight for us. Hallelujah. Because when God fight for you, when God fight for you, your enemy, they are in trouble. <laughs> May God help us in the name of Jesus. These are the word we read today. You know, imagine uh, 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 Satan use Abisalom. Satan use 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 uh, use uh, use, uh, use uh, Ahitophel. Ahitophel who's supposed to be is is a is a, is a personal counselor. Unfortunately, Satan used them. They conspire together with other other people. They conspire together. Against David. And the Lord told David, start running for your life. And the process, Satan brought another uh, is it Shimei. Now started cursing David, pouring sand on him and his people. Tried to force David to become angry, to to cut off his head, to kill him. But when his his body bearers, you know, brought out that suggestion. Say, please don't lay your hands upon him. If this my own son is looking to destroy my life, is it this one now? I will, I will kill. Just allow him. If God have if God have sent him to curse me, let him curse me. Probably in the process of God allowing him to curse me, God we can remember the goods that I have done and have mercy on me. And exactly that is that what happened. God remember the truth. He was standing on. God remember the justice he was standing on and had mercy on him. When there is no place for him to, because they have already anointed Absalom as king over David. David knew he was, was no longer the king because people accepted him. Accepted this, I mean, Absalom and rejected him. In his very eyes, Still standing for the truth. He did not start running or pursuing the throne. He did not start running for, for the throne, but he just allowed peace. Even with the time, you know, remember that David was anointed for years. God anointed David through Saul as the king. Even while Saul was there. But the king, but, but the sword, but David did not kill uh, uh, Saul in order to take over the, the, the throne. He allowed God Himself to do the work Himself. Saul died in battle. That's the reason why David had to take over. Whereas there have been opportunity upon opportunity for him to kill Saul and take over the position. 
You see, it's always good we esteem the truth, we esteem justice, we esteem, you know, than any form of position or any kind of wealth. May God help us in the name of you. You can see here, truly, you know, when we love God more than position, when we love God more than any anything, he, he will be the one to keep that position for you. And the David's kingdom truly endure until he was old and tired, not have strength again to rule before he handed over the kingdom to what to Solomon. You can see holiness and righteousness, what he can do when we love the truth, when we love God above any other thing. You always stand for us, you always deliver us. May God help us in the name of Jesus. I want us tonight to begin to pray and ask the Lord, please help me, Lord. Help me to stand, O Lord, for the truth. Help me to stand for justice, Lord. And even when it is difficult for me, help me, O Lord. Help me, O Lord. Help me, O Lord. Help me, Lord Jesus. Help me, O Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. May I love the truth more than position. May I love the truth more than money. May I love the truth more than, more than any kind of thing you know, the world is promising me. In the name of you, may I love the truth and justice in the name of Jesus more than any any kind of gain. In the name of Jesus, Mara In the name of Father, remove injustice from my hand, O Lord. Remove injustice, remove lies, remove injustice from my hand. In the name of Jesus, and fill my hand with the truth. Fill me, O Lord Jesus, Mara with with how that with justice. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And I pray in the name of Jesus in every area of our life that enemy is challenging us and determined to destroy us. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord deliver us by his mercy. In the name of Jesus. And may our heart from now and henceforth begin to go after the truth. In the name of God. The Bible says that the truth will set us free. There's freedom in truth. Hallelujah. But there's bondage. Serious bondage. When we decide not to follow the truth, when we decide to allow injustice, there's so much bondage. In the process, fear upon fear upon fear upon fear upon fear, we take over. May God deliver us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Right now, let's quickly now go to the book of Acts of Apostle, chapter 24, from verse 1 to end. Thank you, Jesus. Act of Apostles 24, from verse 1 to end. Chapter 24 And after five days, the high priest Ananias came down with some elders and a spokesman, one Tertullus. They laid before the governor their case against Paul, and when he had been summoned, Tertullus began to accuse him, saying, since through you we enjoy much peace, and since by your foresight, most excellent Felix, reforms are being made for this nation in every way and everywhere, we accept this with all gratitude. But to detain you no further, I beg you in your kindness to hear us briefly. For we have found this man a plague, one who stirs up riots among all the Jews throughout the world, and is a ringleader of the sect of the Nazarenes. He even tried to profane the temple, but we seized him. By examining him yourself, you will be able to find out from him about everything of which we accuse him. The Jews also joined in the charge, affirming that all these things were so. And when the governor had nodded to him to speak, Paul replied, Knowing that for many years you have been a judge over this nation, I cheerfully make my defense. You can verify that it is not more than twelve days since I went up to worship in Jerusalem, and they did not find me disputing with anyone or stirring up a crowd either in the temple, or in the synagogues, or in the city. Neither can they prove to you what they now bring up against me. But this I confess to you, that according to the way, which they call a sect, I worship the God of our fathers, believing everything laid down by the law and written in the prophets, having a hope in God, which these men themselves accept, that there will be a resurrection of both the just and the unjust. So I always take pains to have a clear conscience toward both God and man. Now after several years I came to bring alms to my nation and to present offerings. 
While I was doing this, they found me purified in the temple without any crowd or tumult. But some Jews from Asia, they ought to be here before you and to make an accusation, should they have anything against me. Or else let these men themselves say what wrongdoing they found when I stood before the council, other than this one thing that I cried out while standing among them. It is with respect to the resurrection of the dead that I am on trial before you this day. But Felix, having a rather accurate knowledge of the way, put them off, saying, When Lysias the tribune comes down, I will decide your case. Then he gave orders to the centurion that he should be kept in custody, but have some liberty, and that none of his friends should be prevented from attending to his needs. After some days, Felix came with his wife Drusilla, who was Jewish, and he sent for Paul and heard him speak about faith in Christ Jesus. And as he reasoned about righteousness and self-control and the coming judgment, Felix was alarmed and said, Go away for the present. When I get an opportunity, I will summon you. At the same time, he hoped that money would be given him by Paul. So he sent for him often and conversed with him. When two years had elapsed, Felix was succeeded by Portius <coughs> Festus, and desiring to do the Jews a favor, Felix left Paul in prison. Desiring to do the Jews favor, Philip left Paul in the in the in the prison because Paul was telling Felix about imagine is this not a good thing to talk about and that irritated him that irritated him hallelujah you see and Paul hallelujah and Paul and had him sorry, okay, verse 24 say after some some days Phyllis came with his wife Drusilla who was Jewish and he sent for Paul and had him speak about he sent for Paul and had Paul speak about faith in Christ Jesus and he and as he reasoned about righteousness and self-control and the coming judgment Talk, talking about faith talking about self-control talking about the judgment and then Phineas was alarmed and said go away from 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 my presence he should go away from his presence you can see truly that the world don't like what is you know don't like the, the don't like justice the world don't like don't like don't don't like the truth. And because of because of the values which Paul is standing for, now they decided to abandon him in prison. They are not to appease his enemy. And I pray in the name of Jesus that whoever that whoever that is plotting evil against your life, whoever is plotting to destroy your life because of the truth that you stand on. In the name of Jesus, as the truth delivered David, as the truth delivered Jesus Christ, the same truth will deliver you and deliver me, deliver us in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we kill the hands of our enemies. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any person that has been set in our life to monitor us, to spoil, to spoil the works of our hand. Or to put stubborn block in our, in our lives when we are in the verge of a miracle, when we are in the in our verge of victory, when we are in you know in the in the verge, hallelujah, of the new thing the Lord wants to do in our lives or in the life of our children, the life of our loved ones, and I pray in the name of Jesus they will not succeed. For that are mysterious, the Lord you deliver us, deliver us, Lord Jesus, and our loved ones from every wickedness of the wicked. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of devourer. Every spirit in the name of Jesus, Mara that is biting, that is biting our success, that is biting our progress, that is biting our progress. The blood of Jesus against you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. And I pray in the name of Jesus, every power that is set against, against your healing. Because sometimes you begin to uh, that some 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 who are sick or some who are probably in the school or whatever in the school or, or other areas of life 
you see yourself your, your, your health is improving the medication or you know your health is improving and now the days for you to come out from that medication or that very end of sickness is at least is visible probably in the next few days or in the next few weeks you totally out from that sickness you begin to walk again or things will become better but suddenly you see yourself something will just happen mysteriously you see yourself going back to the last worst state that you used to be may god scatter the plans of the enemy that they designed to keep you in that very wicked state in that very very you know that in, in the name of jesus may the lord destroy let the lord destroy in the name of the lord deliver us in the name of jesus in the name of jesus As we saw David, David came out from, from the whole trouble that surrounded him. Even though Satan brought brother Shemite, who started pouring sand and who started accusing him and cursing him, Satan wanted to use him in order to make him to commit a murder. But the Lord delivered him. Sometimes in our life, those are the kind of things that comes in our life. And the verge of success, and the verge of breakthrough, and the verge of the final victory, we see ourselves jumping back again from where we are coming from. And I pray in the name of your soul situation, whoever that, that kind of situation is running in your life, I pray in the name of Jesus, let the power in the blood of Jesus scatter and dismantle every wickedness that has built around your sources to frustrate, to strangulate your sources, to strangulate your advancement. The blood of Jesus is against those wicked spirits. In the name of Jesus, in the name of, we we'll see that victory of overcomers. We we'll see that that anointing, that spirit of overcoming, the overcoming spirit. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we we'll see that spirit of overcomers. In the name of overcome every wickedness, every plan, every plot. They want to set us back from where we are starting from. They want to destroy all our achievement. They, they want to destroy all our sources. They want to destroy all our progress. The blood of Jesus against you. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. And I pray in the name of Jesus, the Spirit of the Lord that, that opened the eyes of those who stand in the path of truth. Those who stand in the path of justice will open our eyes and guide us in the name of Jesus and bring us out from that um, wicked plan and plot of the enemy in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, this morning, Lord. Thank you, Lord, this hour. We know you have done it. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I want us to sing this song as a declaration. To the prayer we we'll we'll just pray down and before we we'll go for our confessions the song said i will sing of the mercy of the lord forever with my mouth i will make known the faithfulness of the lord he has promised me deliverance he has promised me success he has promised me breakthrough in the name of Jesus, my eyes shall see, my mouth shall confess those breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And that song is taken from the book of Psalm chapter 88, sorry, 89, from verse 1. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I will sing all the goodness of the Lord forever we sing I will sing I will sing all the goodness of the Lord forever I will sing Hallelujah. When I met no, you 
you out in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> Hallelujah. <clears throat> we are not here for, we are here to do what God had it in their hand. Hallelujah. I knew when I was singing this song, because of the name of that faith I'm calling, they will be attacking me. I'm not here to do any, I'm here for God. I'm not here for, for your games in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. With our mouth we make known. Either the enemy likes it or not. With our mouth we make known. The mercy, the goodness. We will confess the goodness. Hallelujah. The good thing the Lord has done in our lives. How he has delivered us. How he has set us free. In the name of Jesus. 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 And that the enemy likes it or not. You are more than conqueror. And that the enemy likes it or not. Victory is ours. In the name of Jesus, either the enemy likes or not, in the name of Jesus, the area or the places that people tread on, or the things that people put their hands and not succeed, the temptation or the trial that comes that always top the great and the, the great and the mighty, in the name of Jesus, by the power in the blood of Jesus, will tread on those ground and will come out victorious. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We tread those, we tread them and come out victorious. Either the enemy liked it or not. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So shall it be in every area of my life. In the name of Jesus. With my mouth I will make known. Hallelujah. Testify of the goodness of the Lord. With my mouth, I will let people know who the Lord is, what He's capable of doing. In the name of Jesus, in the, the thing that He has done in my life. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Raka payrebo zorobo shliya, nene masa derebo rohiriya. Raka irebo rokiya, nene masa derebo rohiriba iriya. With my mouth, I will let people know in the name of Jesus that the God is a mighty warrior that is great in battle. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, just for those victories, O Lord. Thank you, Lord, just for those great things, O Lord, you have done in our lives, O Lord, and you are still going to do. Blessed be your holy name, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. And this hour, I want to use the opportunity to pray for those who are struggling in any areas of our life that you are struggling with the truth. We are struggling with justice. 
I know in this world today, people like injustice than justice. But they want and they want to be they want to be administered with justice and they want truth to be told to them they want they love truth they don't want to act it they don't want to be part of the doers of truth and justice but they want it to be applied in their own situation their own circumstances but, but you don't want it for uh, our brothers you don't want it to our neighbors May God help us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And sometimes we try, struggle to be in the path of truth, in the path of justice. But unfortunately, we see ourselves struggling and struggling. And that's the reason why Jesus Christ has come. When we give Him our hearts, when we give Him our life, He will come into your life, He will come into my life and give up and strengthen us. Because Jesus Christ came here to try. Is it possible to stay without sin? What enabled him and gave him the, 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 the power to overcome was what? The Holy Spirit. And this Holy Spirit, he wants this Holy Spirit to be in you and I. And be in us. So that we'll be able to overcome the wickedness. Because the Holy Spirit of God exposed the lies of the enemy. It's the Holy Spirit of the Lord that lets uh, um, uh, David to know that his son is coming to destroy him and order and his household and his wives and every other one. The Holy Spirit of the Lord that searches deep things because of what? David was a man that loved the truth. He was the man that loved justice. And that empowered him to be able to have that access of spirituality May God help us in the name of Jesus. Right now, I want us to begin to, you know, examine your life. Have you been afraid of, you know, standing on the truth? Have you been afraid standing for justice? Have you been afraid standing for the right things? It's only Jesus Christ who can help you if you give him your life. And I said the truth, and I said to myself, Personal Lord and Savior, then His Holy Spirit will be given to you, then you will be able to overcome in the name of the Holy Spirit of God, who is our helper. He will guide you, He will lead us in the path of righteousness, the path of justice. And I want us to ask the Lord in the name of Jesus. In any way, there's a sin in my life that has been shutting up my eyes of truth, shutting up my eyes of justice. Father, Lord, forgive me. Bless me, O Lord Jesus. Wash me, wash me, wash me, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let the eyes of my of the truth, let the eyes of justice be open. In the name of you, by your spirit, O Lord. I give you my love this hour, Lord Jesus. I say, forgive me of my sins. Bless me, O Lord. I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. Come into my life and be the Lord of my life from now to the rest of my life. I will serve you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of the Lord, come into my life and be able to lead me in the path of truth. Be able to lead me in the path of justice. Be able to lead me in the path of righteousness. Help me, Lord, to love my enemy. Help me to love my brothers as myself. Help me, Lord Jesus. Help me, Lord, to love truth, to love justice. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Just for saying his word that you shall know the truth and the truth shall set us free. There's a massive free, there's massive freedom in, 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 in sticking to the truth. Hallelujah. And, and with it, you know, the truth gives you there's so much, there's so many, there's so many benefits. Because when you stand in the truth, there's no fear. Because fear brings most of the sicknesses today that you suffer. They have link to fear. Because of, you know, fear brings, leads us to do some horrible things. May God deliver us in the name of Jesus. See what fear led, 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 led us Saul to do in, in, in the Bible. See what fear led, made Absalom to do. Nahitophel. They end up destroying themselves. Putting themselves on necessary bondage. To the extent he decided to commit suicide. Because of what? Injustice. Because of what? Lies. And the David that, that was humiliated, that decided, even with all those humiliation, I mean humiliation, 
He did not send his guys to go and fight his son or, or to begin to you know, cause trouble. He decided to stand in the path of truth, in the path of justice. At the end of it all, you can see the tremendous benefit, the tremendous gain that was embedded in that. Hallelujah. And I pray in the name of Jesus will begin to walk in that very path in the name of Jesus. And let every benefit, every good thing, the good health in the name of Jesus. And all that benefit that attached to, attached to, attached to truth and, 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 and justice in the name of Jesus will be ours from now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. May we affect, affect our world around us in the name of Jesus with the truth in us. In the name of God, the truth, the truth and justice is like a light. It's like a light. When the light comes to anywhere that is darkness, darkness cannot stand. Darkness is always afraid of the light. In the name of Jesus. And I pray in the name of Jesus that you be that light that will continue to illuminate your environment. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, just tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Right now, I want us to go to our confessions tonight as we do this I pray that the Lord will pray to all through us tonight in the name of Jesus hallelujah Psalm 23 from verse 1 to end thank you Jesus Holy Spirit as we go through this exercise Lord we ask the Lord be the one in charge every spirit of distraction every spirit of you know, my upset mind control. The blood of Jesus against you in the name of Jesus. We pray tonight in the name of Jesus. Let the Spirit of God take charge of our mind in the name of Jesus. And we will confess and let the Spirit of God bring the way that we confess in the name of to realities in every area of our lives in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Psalm. 23 from us one to end. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in great pastures. He lay me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He laid me in path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valleys of shadow of death, I fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your star they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Hallelujah. Run in the most sonorous day. They watch there. Hallelujah, Jesus, we give you praise. Hallelujah. You anoint my head with oil in my cup overflows. flow. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Psalm 59, from verse 1 and 2. Deliver me from my enemies, O my God. Protect me from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from those who walk evil. And save me from blood testing men in the name of Jesus. Let's repeat it again. Hallelujah. Generalize it. Deliver us from our enemies, O oh our God. Protect us from those who rise up against us. Deliver us from those who work evil. And save us from blood testing men in the name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. Psalm 91 from verse 1 to end. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge, my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snake of the fowler, in the name of Jesus, from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinion, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a buckler. You will not fear the terrors of the night. You will not fear the arrows that fly by day. You will not fear the pestilence that stalk in darkness. You will not fear the destruction that wastes at noon day. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. A thousand may fall at your side. Ten thousand at your right hand. But it will not come near you. In the name of Jesus. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. In the name of Jesus. Because you, because you have made the Lord your very place. The most high who is my refuge. No evil shall be allowed to befall you. In the name of Jesus. No plague come near your tent in the name of your foe. He will command his angel concerning you to guide you in all your ways. In the name of Jesus. On their hands they will bear you up. 
you will not strike your foot against those in the name of Jesus. You will tread on the lion, the under the young lions, the serpent you triple underfoot in the name of Jesus because you hold fast to, to, to me in love. I will deliver him, I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him. I will honor him with long life. I will satisfy him and show him my salvation in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for that deliverance in the name of Jesus. And the Psalm 144 from verse 1 to end. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm 144, verse 1 to end. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war. My fingers will battle. He is my steadfast love. Hallelujah. My fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer. My shield in whom I take refuge. Hallelujah. Who subdues people under me. Hallelujah. Oh God, oh Lord, what is man that to regard him? Or a son of man that to think of him? Man is like a breath, his day is like a passing shadow. By your heavens, Lord. And come down, toward the mountain, so the smoke, flash forward the lightning and scatter them. Set out your arrow and root them in the name of Jesus. Set out your hand from all high. Rescue me and deliver me from the many waters, from the hands of the foreigners, whose mouth speaks lies and whose right hand is right hand of falsehood. Brad and Messiah. I will sing a new song to you, O God, upon a ten-string harp, in the name of Jesus. I will play to you who give victory to kings, who rescue David his servant from a cruel sword. Rescue me and deliver me from the hands of the foreigners, whose mouth speaks lies, whose right hand is written of falsehood. May our sons in their youth be in a plan full grown. May our daughters, hallelujah, like corner pillars, Call for a structure of a palace in the name of Jesus. May our granaries be full, providing all kinds of produce. May our sheep bring forth thousands and ten thousands in our field in the name of Jesus. May our cattle be heavy with young, suffering no mishap or failure in the name of Jesus. May there be no cry of distress in our streets in the name of Jesus. Blessed are the people to whom such blessing fall. Blessed. Blessed are the people whose God is the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Psalm chapter 124, from verse 1 to end. Blessed be your holy name, Jesus. If it had not been the Lord who was on my side, then Israel now say, If it had not been the Lord who was on my side, when people rose up against me, against us, then they would have swallowed us up our life. When the anger was kindled against us, then the flood would have swept us away. The torrent would have gone over us. Then over us would have gone the raging waters. Blessed be the Lord who have not given us as a prey to their teeth. We have escaped like a bed from the snake or the fowler. The snail is broken. We have escaped because our help. Hallelujah. The time of Jesus Christ's ministry help. The ICC help, your help, our help, United Kingdom help, Israel help, India, how the Pakistan, in the name of Jesus, all our countries help, in the name of Jesus, the whole wide world help is in the name of the Lord who made the heavens and the earth, in the name of Jesus, either the lights or not. Hallelujah. The Bible says, My people pay for lack of what? knowledge. Ignorance is not an excuse. Because you don't accept that there is God. It did not change anything. May God help us in the name of Jesus. If you go to read the Bible, then you see the things that are in the Bible are actually happening in your own very face. They are happening. Hallelujah. Then if you, you came from nowhere, you know, and you believe that you came from a, 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 a what they call it, a big bang, I'm sorry for you. That is God. That is God. That is God. In the name of Jesus. Surrender to Him and humble yourself. In the name of Jesus. And receive the blessing that He has for you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Our help comes from the 
from the Lord, Lord God, who made the heavens and the earth, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you've done in our life tonight, O Lord. I will pray in the name of Jesus that your blessing will continue in our lives. Your protection will continue in our lives in the name of Jesus. Braga, greater, greater, greater things, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Your blessed be your holy name. As we go into the new week, we ask, Lord, for your mercy. We ask for your favor. We ask, Lord Jesus, my your protection in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every day, every hour, and many seconds of the of this very week we are entering, we ask the Lord that your spirit will be with us, O Lord. Protect us from, from dangers. Protect us, O Lord. No cry of distress in our lives. No cry of distress in our family. No cry of distress in the life of our children. No cry of distress hallelujah, in our community, in our in our in our countries, in our world. In the name of Jesus. No cry of distress. No cry of distress. No cry of distress. No in the name of Jesus, let your mercy, o Lord Jesus, Maria, follow us, o Lord. Blessing upon blessing, increase upon increase, multiplication upon multiplication. In the name of Jesus, our hands are blessed, fruitfulness. In the name of Jesus, we count our blessings and name them one by one. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. I will come back, hallelujah, next weekend to give you thanks for things you've done in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. I will say this night, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord protect you. May the Lord smile on you. May the Lord be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace in every area of your life. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Our beloved brother Salem, but it's been a long while. Hallelujah. God bless you for joining us tonight. And I pray that God will keep you and your families in the name of Jesus. No problem that form against you shall prosper. And I pray in the name of Jesus, your Lord will fight your secret, secret battle and give you good health in the name of Jesus and your family. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And my greatest prayer for you is that when the trumpet shall sound, you'll be at the right place at the right time. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, in the name of your Lord, by his mercy. We, we we help and we help us to be in the name of one of those who must make heaven either enemy that is or not in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for what you've done tonight. In the name of Jesus, we pray. I will say good night, everyone. God bless you all. And I pray the same prayer for all of us in the name of Jesus. Go and shine. Go and come back in the name of your with testimonies. In the name of John, no battle, no situation, no trial that will come your way that will defeat you. I declare and declare that all your issues that will challenge you this week, all of them will be under your feet in the name of Jesus. God bless you all and shalom to you all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Love you all and good night.